Maybe if I had allowed people to sell me a dream, I would have ended up following a dumbass mofo like this that all these people ran to YouTube telling you was the muscle. Meanwhile, if you reviewed the paperwork and listened to some of the things he said, it would be very clear that he was putting out certain information for whatever reason that clearly showed me why Robert Kelly should not have been charged as this recall leader when this man's actions has been the catalyst to the charges. Can I go with you? What? Hey, CP, did you see this? Look, if it ain't official Dana J, Levi for Kelly, Prima Donna News, I don't even want to see it. Just take the call. Look. You got some weed? Dang. Gotta get some. Alright, hurry up. These and them here, everybody here, we waiting on you. New viewers manager? <laughs> Did this nigga just laugh? He like, hell no, nah, bitch, don't get me involved in that shit. I'm some other shit. No one's heard this time. What's your sign, bro? Well, he picked the wrong nigga to tell it. After this interview, R. Kelly, your spokesman gonna need a spokesman. That's not bad choices. I mean, he's a survivor. Well, now that nigga's the perpetrator. This is a young guy, this is a guy, an older man who was, at the age of eight, molested by his sister for eight years, and who told him she would hurt, kill him if he told his mother. What the fuck do that gotta do with him marrying Aaliyah and having sex with little underage girls? <laughs> Parents, when you knew that's that, that's what he was about to do, why didn't you call them? That's it. I'm I, all right. This is where I, right, let me tell you. I didn't call the parents. I why, I worked for Robert. You, you I worked for it? Robert Kelly. Listen to me. I worked for Robert Kelly. Okay, this just happened. And we get to Chicago. I talk to Daryl. I say, man, what you doing, man? He can't do this, man. I said, I'm supposed to call Daryl, but my loyalty was to Robert. Right that, 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 I didn't know he was sleeping with him. Well, you knew he was about to marry her. You knew, you knew, you knew, you knew, you knew it was uncomfortable that it was illegal. You, it you was knew that she was situation. minor. I mean, so you got to realize. I mean, that's your sister. Who, who goes? Who, who? Any of us have been through that? No. I mean, so you don't know what it feels like to go through that for ten years of your life. It's in his book. He wrote the book. Uh, you know, Solar Coast. So that's his book, and all this is in there. Nick, is you trying to explain his side, or are you trying to sell a book? Wait a minute. On second thought, nigga, that's a good way to promote his book. I mean, this nigga got to start selling something. So does that excuse any of the alleged behavior? Absolutely not. So why in the fuck is you talking about it? I mean, but this is not a man who lets anybody in any of his events. So now you're going to try to blame it on the club. Yes, yes, I can see it. What you saying? Nigga, you should have left them motherfuckers on. Now they're really going to see your ass lying. But to what you were saying, you were saying he was young and his sister was that age. Does he feel... His sister was 10 years older than him. Right, a teenager. Right. right. But I'm saying... Perhaps and something it's the happened age to her of his too. alleged victim. Right. Say it again. Nigga, you heard what the fuck she said. Nigga, you were sending it right along with her. But that's about the age of his alleged yeah, victim. Yeah, I mean, so, so what should be, who he should be in the room with is psychiatrist, not well, police. White people don't want to hear that shit. Yeah, sex with 14 year old girls. Absolutely not. That's not what this man went into anything to do. That's, is he hypersexual? Now, that's a question you ask him. R. Kelly, you done got the wrong motherfucking spokesperson. After this interview, nigga, you feel to get hit with an extra charge. But that but that didn't stem from him being someone that goes out to do that. What happened to him put him in that position? You're eight years old. Somebody's taking advantage of you. What do you think is going to happen as a result of that? You see what I'm saying? R. Kelly, this nigga said you done unto others what was done unto you. This nigga going to get your ass locked up again. After hearing this shit, they going to fuck around and revoke your bail. Why do niggas always say they know a nigga character by the shit that they been through themselves? Now it should be very clear why I decided to do my own backgrounds and my own research when I began to read this paperwork against Robert Kelly and I see more actions carried out by other individuals being put on him and them coming with this RICO indictment. However, he's the only individual included as they mention managers, assistants, bus drivers, and the works. However, they weren't trying to prosecute these individuals. 
Instead, what we saw was all these people that were doing all this stuff in the background, coming to YouTube, putting their narratives out there, and then we see it play out in Robert Kelly's case while some people came to agitate individuals and keep them from revealing the truth. So as we continue to watch for this motion to dismiss in Chicago, we should also keep going back to the New York case and why these same individuals from Chicago wouldn't have been included in that case. But also think about why this case came to be in the first place. If you take away the actions of Don Russell and his threats against Faith Rogers and his threats to blow up the place, Take away this alleged bribery in which Demetrius Smith already took credit for, including Daryl McDavid, and let's consider the jurisdiction conflicts that we see as Ann Donnelly sat by and let all these witnesses perjure themselves, let all these janky-ass informants come on these platforms as we know they're watching play out through it being mentioned in these motions. Is it really necessary to go back and forth with individuals who obviously don't know much about the case when you can focus on those facts and why the things that Robert Kelly was convicted of should be overturned and why that alone will set the precedence while all these goofy people out here talking about this attack on hip hop and bypassed how it should have been addressed? <laughs> Congratulations. You just got him a wife for life. You should talk to TMZ. And just tell them you're a good wink. And they're going to they gonna put y'all in a position to make some money. Talk to them. I've already talked to them about it. The benefit. Yeah. I'm just real, man. No, it's just, just I'm fine, I, man. I, I, I understand that. Remember, me and my wife going through divorce right now. It's not what's up. Tell me. It's the situation I got to go through divorce now. So, tell me. I'm a man, man. Tell me, man. Tim, no, Tim. man. You're the man of your house. You can fix that shit. No, it's over, bro. That shit, I've been married for 20 some years, bro. It's over. You are the man of your house. You can fix that shit. You talking. I mean, you talking. I I already called some folks, my brothers, all them man. This shit, once I do that, bro, marriages don't get fixed like that. You should know this. You you a savage? And once you call brothers and tell them what the fuck going on, it's over, man. That 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 that, that, that took much fun. My my brothers know what's going on, what happened, what all this shit, bro. I'm done. I mean, tell tell Rob he he can do what he gonna do. I go out and make my meeting, and uh, you know, he got he got to be like white white for him. I'm like I said, you, you should talk to him. I ain't saying who else should talk to him with you, but you should. Go on and talk to that man. I'm going to send you the number, call him, and tell him, listen, man, listen, they, they, they wait, whatever. They coerce you in this shit. They twist this shit. Whatever you got to tell him, because at the end of the day, that's still your daughter. But when all of this shit, the, the dust settles, you're going to want a relationship with her, and what you're going what, what to want to be out there is that, listen, man, I... I I was, I, listen, I, I screwed up, but, or maybe, I don't know if you feel that way, if you feel like you made a mistake, but I, whatever happened, I just wanted to, you know, get back close to you. This is coming from a man who lost a child. I, I, I mean, so, if I, if, I had it, if I had it in me right now to go back in time and say two words to my baby girl, I would do it. I don't. So say something positive so you can have that at least out there. So when she says right. it, it's public. Listen, baby, I'm sorry. No, I did try to make it. You, I'm talking about when you laying up there and she's standing over you at the end of your days. You want her to know that, God damn it, I made a mistake. I'm sorry, and uh, I wanted to fix this. Talk to God about the best way to get that out. And you, you come, because only you know what's happened. She knows, too, which is why y'all are so far apart right now. But something has to be said. If you are realizing this thing is falling apart, it's not going the way everybody expected it to go. Something has to be said because well, I've got a million fucking fans that when they start hearing this shit, like I told you, I promise you I won't put your ass in this. If you go on out there and you say something, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta rescind some of the stuff. Not everything. Just go say something positive. 
Baby girl, I support you. If you're with that man and that's your choice, we love you. And I hope the best for you. And then go and talk to my man over at TMZ or whoever you need to talk to. They're going to put some money in your... Why the fuck these niggas wanna go against the grain? Uh, yeah. Why the fuck these niggas wanna drag a nigga name? Uh, uh, true story. The jury don't want me to make it. Make it. The DA, I know that he works. Oh, he working. Prosecutors wanna help me. What? I'm hoping they don't do me dirty. Do me dirty. It's 40, I got the bitch dirty. Fuck. Shoot on go, he shoot